right guys, welcome to Seven Figure Entrepreneur. We are just in San Diego for Traffic and Conversion yes, 2019. Sir. That's right, we made it out. Third year. Third year? Third year, it's been good. Yeah. Um, we all have our sunglasses on because we're outside and it's a little bit bright. Um, and also I'd like to apologize for the wind <laughs> because it's a little bit windy. But it's okay because it's beautiful out and we're down with that. And, we're, and, and we have the most handsome man in all of <laughs> online marketing with us, Brian Higgins. Brian Higgins, what episode were you on? One, we, number one. You were number no. one? No, you Less were- than like two. No. You were two because we're one. We, no. just, we did no. an intro. You guys don't count. Uh, that's very true. <laughs> you, actually, he was our first guest. I also feel that nobody listened to the first one that we did, so it, it didn't really matter. We'll take it personally. We'll take it, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did we title your thing or what did we talk about? Like a hundred million dollars? No. No, ten. No. Ten million dollars. We talked about how you grocery were in the grocery store, store business and yeah. then transitioned to online marketing Yeah. and then just kept growing. Yeah, so it's a good one. Check it out. Uh, episode, episode one. Episode, <laughs> episode two, it's labeled, but <laughs> yeah, it is episode it is one, episode I guess. One. Um, right, so right. how come you like this event? How do you like traffic and conversion? Um, <clears throat> I just like that it's a little bit different than the typical affiliate marketing conventions that I've mm -hmm. gone to in the past. Yeah. Um, just a bit of a different crowd, to yeah. be honest. Uh, better networking events. A little more chill, a little less drinking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, unless that's you're Tyler. Unless you're Tyler. <laughs> hey, that's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> that's well, a real reason we have our sunglasses when, when you're on. The, when you're the guy that's like, eh, you, you gotta throw yourself under this the bus. This is true. For the rock star. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know what's actually really cool is uh, me and B-Rock catching up. We don't do it very often, not often yeah. enough, but he was talking about a lot, you know, the original podcast episode that we did, his business model then, and how much has changed from then to now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so can yeah. you kind of, without giving away too many of your secrets, can you kind of dig into what you're uh, doing right now, um, or, or your tra tra or like what you like transition from what you were doing before to now? Yeah, because so, I think yeah, it's brilliant. Reasoning, yeah, I think when we talked last time on episode number one or two, <laughs> um, I was kind of transitioning from being an affiliate to being an offer owner. Yeah, and now I've kind of gone back to being an affiliate, but mm -hmm. more of like a hybrid model where. I'm working with offer owners and like forming, yeah. forming partnerships where we're helping scale their companies. Yeah. And um, I think what I've really learned since the last time we met is that it's kind of hard to be like really good at everything. And it's, yeah. It's, yeah. You do a lot better if you can. That's good advice. Form right partnerships there. with people where like I'm the traffic guy, not the offer owner guy, right? So, yeah. Um, teaming up with like the best person in a certain niche, yeah. has a great product, I know the traffic side, I can help them optimize their funnel, and we just work together, and it that has been like a complete game changer for me and my business. That's cool, because yeah. what you did is just kind of stuck to what you're good at, which is driving traffic. Yeah, um, I don't have then, to deal with customer service, which is a total yeah. nightmare. I don't have yeah. to Simplified worry, your about, business. worry about inventory mm -hmm. issues. Focus Products, on your shipping, yeah. all that stuff. Focus on your strengths. And you mind if I kind of dive into the model a little bit too that you're going yeah. after? Yeah. So before you were probably very transactional, meaning like, you know, you have your landing page, you drive traffic. Yeah. When people, you know, they they sign up or they buy, you get paid one time. Yeah. yeah. Now you partner with advertisers, so you get paid one time, but then also you get a piece of the back end as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How's that helped as far as stability in your business? Um like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's been like, just so much more stable. It's almost mm. like every month it just gets better and better. That's awesome. Where before I would have really good months, but then I would have, you know, a, something would happen with the traffic source yeah. or some sort of issue or, you know, banner blindness, Yeah. things burn out and then you go from making you know, really good money to losing money every month. Yeah. Or like for a month. And you have trying a to wife figure and something kids. out. And yeah. yeah, we've got two kids now and we've got a lot going on. So I just really wanted that stability yep. with yeah. my business. So now that I have these recurring uh, membership, like subscription business models with partnerships, I know like every day I'm getting a certain amount of. Uh, revenue coming in, yeah. And then with the email marketing on the back end and all that kind of stuff, um, like I haven't lost money in a day, and like I can't even remember when 
awesome. <laughs> before, not many like, media buyers <laughs> can say that, I promise you. Yeah. That. Before yeah. I'd have months where I'd lose like 40 grand, yeah. Yeah. 45 grand. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've got a big mortgage and kids and yeah. a life, like your a wife's life, pregnant yeah. and you're, you're losing 50 grand a month, like yeah. that's yeah. not fun. Dude. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Definitely gets nerve wracking. Yeah. No, man, I was really impressed like when we were talking, you talked about how you work with them, you changed your model up. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the type of affiliate models that survive. And one thing I've been thinking a lot lately is about sustainable affiliate marketing, online marketing. Because like B-Rye said, he was amazing at traffic um, and was playing with the offer side, but now he's like, I don't need to be that guy. I'd rather partner with that guy and bring what I do to the table. Yeah, yeah exactly. So Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just, I, I think the way that the affiliate marketing industry is changing and evolving, like you need to have there needs to be like a competitive edge or advantage yes. or you're just kind of I don't know racing to the fighting for the bottom right yeah, racing to the bottom. And, and your your business will be like up and down up and down peaks and valleys that's all right the time. Yeah. people always talk about how how much they're doing and how great they're doing when they're doing well but nobody talks about yeah. the months that they're losing yeah and getting their ass kicked but the other thing too like when you're losing uh, like let's say numbers go down in this model, you can work with the offer owners to be like, okay, we need to try new landing pages or new offer pages, mm -hmm. uh, maybe mm -hmm. different checkouts, so on and so forth. But when you're just a straight up affiliate, you don't have that reach. Like no exactly. influence. You just yeah. have to like be like, okay, well, ride it out. I'm gonna rotate some more offers and yeah. hope for the best. But yeah. this, this is really like such a great partnership. Yeah. So you can, both of you can grow to that next level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and plus, you don't have to worry about the overhead and still get all the advantage yeah, of all the back end revenue. Exactly. And I think for the offer owner, it's great because I'm kind of like handcuffed to them because. Um, <laughs> oh. Like a good handcuff. A good yeah. handcuff. Like and for, to, to, for him, it's a good handcuff because. That's what I mean. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Advertisers kill to find guys yeah. like so you. So, like, everybody, that's the hardest thing about everybody is like. For um, all the affiliate managers are like. Hey, do you have uh, traffic for this like CBD, whatever, yeah. or whatever like the flavor of the week is? And everybody's like, oh, I'm getting forty-two dollars. I'm getting forty-three, and everybody's rotating offers from one to the other, Ooh, trying to yeah. figure out which one converts the best. And I could be sending like twenty thousand dollars in revenue to somebody one day, and then I start rotating in another offer. Yeah. Pull the pin. Yeah. They're done. Yeah. There's now not a lot of loyalty going somewhere else. Yeah. Right? But if I'm yeah. working with that offer owner, and we're working together to make it the best offer there is, and I'm getting back end revenue, like yeah. why would I go anywhere else? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. No, I think, it's amazing. Uh, That's a great point you brought that yeah. up. Man. I don't. I don't think like. Obviously, not every advertiser or offer owner is gonna want to set this thing up with like. You couldn't do a deal like this with everybody, but yeah. Yeah. I think for me, I just want to have four or five companies and offers that I'm a JV on. Yeah, and joint venture, that's what JV stands for. That's about it. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, how many do you have now? Um, I have about, I have three, three companies that I'm doing yeah. this model with. Yeah. And then I also have um, two companies that Basically, I just run their ads for okay, them cool. at, at a fee, but not on the yeah. CPA model. So you're looking for two more? Potentially, yeah. Right. <laughs> so if anybody's out there with a killer deal, killer offer, hit his the, phone hit number up, is hit up this guy. Yeah, link in, link in description to his phone number. Yeah. Oh, and I want like 100% of the front end. Oh model. yeah, 100% yeah. of the front end. And a large chunk of the membership. He, he the drives membership. a he drives a stern deal, but he it's It'd a take fair, a lot. But it's a fair deal. It'll be worth it. It'll be well. worth it. That's right. Um, so what uh, what's on the horizons for you? Anything else? Are you just gonna grow this model? And, um. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just gonna keep growing this this model. Yeah, uh, my brother works with me. He's doing more of like the traditional affiliate stuff. Yeah, but I'd love to get him on board with what I'm doing a little bit more. Yeah, and kind of transitioning him into this, yeah. this new model as well. Cool. Um, so between that, we got a new baby, yeah. building a house. Um, yeah. You mean I, I got I a don't new really baby. want to do. Yeah, Tyler keeps trying to steal the baby. <laughs> that's good. that's kind of creepy in its own. But I guess we shouldn't have talked about that on video, huh? Uh, we're not editing that out either. <laughs> good. <Keep it. laughs> the world needs people, to know your. Creepy. I was gonna say people need to know. At least you have a very nice sweater on. I right? know. So you look somewhat yeah. repping. You're representing. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, like, 
I think that's good, man. Yeah, okay. appreciate the time, brother. Yeah, I really no appreciate it. Time. And I'd like to apologize for the, the wind sound because we're outside, but whatever, it is what it is. That's you right. Know, the content's good. Us. It's all it's about B, right? Anyway, it's just <laughs> the, val the value is here. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll uh, right. see you on the next appreciate one. Appreciate you guys. Peace.